Today I'm going to be making two items that you can use pretty much all year round and decorate for every season. So you're going to need marbles. You're going to need two cake pans, pie pans. You're going to need a burner cover and a charger plate. Any color you like because you're going to paint it anyway. And I have two candlesticks. They're two different sizes. You can get the same size. I chose to get different sizes. So, when you do your charger plate, the glue will stick to this. Okay? I took the paint off. I've used this before. And this is the white side. My plates, my pie pans, I've used before. And as you can see, I tried to scrape off as much of the paint as possible to put it on. So, what you're going to do is you're going to take your candlestick. It's very lightweight. And I'm going to do it upside down because I like the way this looks. Now, you're going to want this to stay in place. So you're going to need E6000 and glue from your hot glue gun. So, I have to dry this out. Make sure everything is clean. Everything is clean and dry. So that everything will stick. And you're going to need spray paint. I'm going to use the almond gloss that I used in another one of my DIYs for the Jason mask. I have white spray paint but it's Walmart 97 cent white spray paint and I'm not a big fan of it. So I don't want it to go this way I'd like it to go this way. So you're going to start on the rim with your E6000 and you're going to go around the rim. Leave a couple spaces so that you can use your hot glue also. So that it will adhere today. I'm putting a generous amount of my E6000 around. So you can see that. Then I'm going to take my glue gun and in the spots I don't have any glue, I am going to put my glue for my glue gun. So you're going to want to put this in the center. This has like a little divot. I would hold it on there for a little bit. I'm hoping this is center. I'm going to raise up the camera some so that you can see where what I do next. I'm going to take the burner cover. Here it is, the burner cover. And I kind of tried to measure it out to get it in the middle of the pan or the burner cover. I'm not the greatest measurer, but I put marks on it. So I'm going to get my E6000. I drop the lid. And I'm going to go around the top of the candlestick. And I'm also going to use my hot glue gun again. So apply a generous amount. This takes 24 hours to harden. So that's why I am using my glue gun where I don't have E6000. Okay, you're going to take your pie pan or 
you, yes, your pie pans, these pie pans, because I'm going to use these first, and then use the little one. So I'm going to try and put it right in the middle. Push that on there. Then I'm going to take my marbles. You don't need a whole bag. I could not find any marbles at the Dollar Tree. I looked for weeks. I found these marbles at Walmart. At first they didn't have any for a while either. So I'm going to take some marbles. Put them in my pan. Okay, so I have five marbles. I'm going to stick six marbles in there. And then you're going to take your other pie pan and put it on top. This makes it a spinny tray. Okay, see how it spins? Now, you're not going to glue. Whoops. That is unstable. I'm going to add some more hot glue to this. And I'm going to take the marbles out for right now. You're going to paint this. So, it will... That is not even at all, is it? a little more even. You'd like this secure. So what I'm doing is I'm gluing underneath with my hot glue. I'm going to let that sit for a couple minutes. I'm also going to glue the bottom down here with some more of my glue gun glue. So this I had lifted up by accident. So I am putting on the bottom more glue. And then you want to make sure you get the top. Whoa! Stuff is falling. So, there's those two. And this is not even, jeez Louise, it is not even at all. Okay. So since I moved that, I'm going to put some more glue around the top again. I am not good at centering things at all. Then I'm going to take something heavy to put on top. So for right now, this is what we have. We have the bottom and the middle plate. And I have the marbles, but we're not going to put the marbles in right now. Now, this plate, this part, is going to go on the other part and spin. So we're going to need to do the candlestick in the middle here. So we're going to do the same process taking the candlestick and doing E6000 around the top and glue from your glue gun. Now you're not going to see this glue because you're going to paint this, but do you see how I left this spot empty and this spot empty? So 
So now I'm going to take my glue gun and do where I don't have any of the E6000. So this is what it looks like when it's glued. Now you're going to try and put it in the center. I'm going to try and put it in the center. So here is that. Okay? Then you're going to take the other burner cover that you have and you're going to put E6000 and glue around the top. Put something heavy on that for now. I'm also going to do it around the bottom. Whoopsie. That is not working out with that at all. So I have my glue around the bottom of the tray. Then you're going to do E6000 and hot glue for the top of here. Once this bonds, cures, whatever you want to call it, this will stick like nobody's business. It'll be a dickens to get it off if you wanted to take it off. Then you're going to take your hot glue gun and do around where you don't have your E6000. And you're going to take your burner cover and you're going to place it upside down. This would be the way it would be on your burner. You're going to turn it upside down. And you're going to try to center it as best as possible. Now I'm going to stick my paint on top and I'm going to go around the bottom with my glue gun underneath to secure it Sorry about my dogs barking. So now we're going to let this sit for a couple minutes and then I'm going to take it outside and paint it. So the three-tier spinny tray is done. And this is what it looks like. I decorated it kind of for Halloween. Everything on here I pretty much made. This is with the marbles in here for it to spin. If you do not want it to spin, you could take the marbles out. So there's marbles in there. It makes it a little unstable. So I wouldn't suggest you put a lot on the top. And here is the boots and hat I made. And I have a feather boa down here. And I have the sign. And some corn and a candle. You can put whatever you'd like on here. Then my little boots. But here is the tray. It spins. I would gently do it because you don't want the things on the top to fall. But if you don't want it to spin, you can take the marbles out. And this is a gnome I made. A witch gnome. 
Okay. For our next craft, you're going to need a baking pan, spray painted bread, or acrylic paint, whatever you prefer, and these magnetic holders that are in the office supply at Dollar Tree. They're magnetic. You're going to need a painter stick painted black along with what are these called? A craft stick. Okay? So what we're going to do is we are going to make a wagon. So this is going to be glued here with E6000 and with hot glue because this is going to be the pulley how you pull a wagon okay so I'm going to start gluing that right now and my cats have joined us on my table So you're going to want it on a slant. You could use, if you choose to, you could use a spatula. Um, I chose not to go that route. I went with the painter stick. It's a lot lighter and I painted it black. So I'm using this spatula to get the excess off and see how it's glued? It's glued right here on an angle on the red part of your wagon. So I'm going to add some more hot glue down here and let that dry. and then we will get to the wheels for the wheels I painted them black I tried to do a circle not so good at painting so for the middle of the wagon so you're gonna want red for your wagon like the radio flyers, a handle. You could do a spatula and with the spatula you could put some wood or something up top and then okay that's done. Now because this is magnetic it'll stick right on there but I want to use this for <coughs> excuse me for your these are magnetic which would stay on here just fine but I'm going to end up storing it at times or maybe I'll keep it out for several different holidays to fill with items so what you're going to want to do is you're going to E6000 on the top here and some hot glue and then you're going to securely press this lid on so I'm going to do that right now You can decorate for even Easter in your little wagon. Easter, Halloween, Christmas. There's lots of possibilities. So I'm taking my glue gun and putting glue where there's no E6000. Now for the lid, you're going to put it on and push down. Don't push on the middle too geez I just messed that up don't push on the middle too much because that's plastic but the rest is metal okay so once you have that what you're going to do is 
put some E6000 and hot glue on this for your wheel and it'll go snug right up against there which is great because your wheels will all be fabulous so some hot glue I put the hot glue on the magnet as you can see and then I'm going to do some E6000 around the top hold it on there and there's one wheel so you have one wheel so far then you're going to do E6000 again on the top metal piece hot glue and Make sure where you glued is up on the top and do your wagon wheel. I like how some of the paint has come off. Normally I'm a perfectionist. Well, in my mind I'm a perfectionist. But with that it looks like a worn wagon. Now as you can see, this is coming apart already. So I'm going to have to add some E6000. I only did hot glue. So we're going to have to do some E6000 on there. Because you don't want it to come apart. And then where I don't have E6000, I put some hot glue. So, so far you have two wheels and your handle and you'll have to do the other two wheels E6000 on top hot glue not the greatest wheel so it's going in the back and there's another wheel now for your last wheel, E6000, some hot glue, and secure it to the top. So that's what your wagon looks like right now. I am going to put some embellishments in the wagon to show you what I mean about how you can decorate it for any holiday. I'm thinking of getting some metallic paint maybe and putting some on here but I don't know I might just leave it like that but here's your wagon. I think it's really nice and then I'm going to get some pumpkins and put them in there and also a little thing of hay so I will be right back to show you how this looks. Here is the finished product. I have it set up for fall or possibly Thanksgiving. So here is your little wagon all decorated for whatever holiday you're interested in. Here's the wagon with some things in it with, for Christmas. Just trying to give you a couple different ideas. All from the Dollar Tree. All of it color changing Christmas tree, the reindeer, the what is that called? I'm gonna say willow. Willow, yes it is. 
the little snowman, the bells, the flowers, everything is from Dollar Tree. I don't have any Christmas stuff out right now, so I'm using what I have from the Dollar Tree.